welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited today because I am going to show you how I get this look, which is the perfect Christmas look. I don't know if you're going to any Christmas parties this year, um, but even if you're not, why not just still make yourself up just for the fun of it. Um, I love this look. I'm excited to share it with you, so stay tuned. Okay, so I always start off with eyes whenever I'm doing makeup for special events. So I have this MAC paint pot in soft ochre um, that I'm just gonna put on my eyelids. This is a great primer, especially if you have veiny eyelids like me. If I was doing this on a client, obviously I would be using a brush, but for me, it's just easier to use my fingers and make sure you always use your fourth finger because it is the most gentle. All right, now that we've got that on, I'm gonna set it with the RMS Beauty Loose Powder. I talk about this in my Clean Beauty tutorial, or favorites. So just getting a little bit and tapping off the excess and I'm just gonna set. I'm a little bit pale, so you might be able to see that that it, the soft ochre was like a little bit dark for me, but it's not gonna matter once we have on um, some eyeshadow. Okay, so for eyeshadow, I'm going to use a few different things, but I'm gonna start off with the Beauty Counter Classic Glam palette, I believe. Classic, classic eyeshadow palette. So I'm gonna get Suede, my favorite, um, but if you don't have this palette, just get a shade that's a couple shades darker than your skin tone. So we're gonna do our transition shade on a big fluffy brush, and we're just gonna windshield wiper and do some circle motions all in our crease. So the idea is just to create a nice transition shade so when your shades go to darker to light um, it just looks really smooth okay so we have our transition color in our crease and I'm gonna go ahead and deepen it up with a darker shade so I'm going to use this sable, which is just like a cool tone brown. And I'm gonna use like a little bit more compact of a fluffy brush because I want the color to be a little bit more concentrated. And then I'm just gonna place it on the outer third of my eye. So outer third, and then I'm gonna work it into the outer third of the crease. Then I always go back over with my bigger fluffy brush just to make sure that we're all blended. You can use the same brush, I'm just extra, you know? So that's what I do. Okay, so we've got a really good base going on and I'm gonna do something really fun now. So I'm going to use the <clears throat> Laura Mercier color stick in the color Moonlight. So I'm going to put this right in the center of my lid. Make sure you don't go too far in because we want to keep the inner corner light. Okay, so you may be thinking, you don't look that great, but don't worry. So now we're just gonna take our ring finger again and kind of blend him out. Okay, so I'm gonna keep, go back to my Beauty Counter palette and I'm going to use the shades Sahara and Copper. And as you can see, they're just like a really shimmery, um, different tones of gold. Okay, so I'm just gonna use my ring finger again. For shimmer shades, I think using your ring finger is the very best thing you can do. So I'm just gonna mix them together and go right over that um, cream shade we just put on our lids. It's a little bit of a different color, but they'll all just create a really nice shimmer. And the main thing that I wanted to use the Anastasia, sorry, the Laura Mercier color stick for was to just create like a tacky surface so my shimmers would really pop. 
Um, so it's okay that they're not quite the same color. I just mainly wanted to use it for like a nice tacky base and it's still gonna shine through a little bit. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back into this um, sable shade, but I'm gonna mix it with this sienna to kind of warm it up off the excess and I'm just going to deepen it up. So any darker brown color you can use to just kind of deepen up your crease. Or if you aren't, if this is dark enough for you, then like that is totally your prerogative. Okay. So I'm going to just kind of blend to my, the outside of my eyebrow ever so slightly to just soften up those edges for face. I don't really believe in primers. I just haven't found one that I feel like makes like a huge difference. So I'm gonna use the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. It's the bomb. I wore it on my wedding day. I love it. <laughs> it's hard to give it up when you are trying to go into clean makeup, but for special occasions, I feel like it is okay. So I have a damp beauty blender and I'm just gonna dab on my face. I usually start towards the center and work my way out to the outside of my face just because I like to concentrate the product like where I need it more. The coverage of this foundation is unreal. So if you're ever in the market, I mean, I know this is one of the most popular foundations probably in the world. <laughs> Always make sure you blend out your neckline I think we're looking pretty good, Jack. Next, I'm gonna take the Ilia Serum um, Concealer. I talk about this in my Queen Favorites, and I'm gonna kinda take it right here where I wanna brighten up, and then right here where I wanna clean up. And then if you have any redness or any cover-up spots, I'll go a little pimple going on here, and then sometimes could deal with some extra coverage there. So I'm using my skinny side of my beauty blender and I am dabbing and we're also cleaning up that fallout. I'm gonna set my foundation and concealer with the RMS loose powder again. Um, I'm gonna do it with my beauty blender. Now I'm gonna do kind of some contouring using the Ilia bronzer that I talked about. So with contouring and bronzing, we want to focus in on sculpting the face. We don't want to bring the face down, so make sure you're not getting your contour too low. We want to lift the face. So instead of putting it, the contour right in my hollow, I'm gonna put it right above it to lift my face and then I'm gonna blend up. You never wanna bring your contour down because if you bring your contour down, you're gonna bring your face down. So I have a nice little angled brush and I'm just gonna do little strokes going up. And I kinda do my face like this. <laughs> I do my face like this to like get a smooth. And then I definitely get some bronzer. And then I like to contour or put some bronzer on my jawline. Um, but this is just optional for you, whichever way you feel comfortable. And then I take it down on my neck. Okay, so next I'm going to do blush. Love this blush, I use it on all my brides. This is the Melba Matte Powder Blush from MAC. And I'm using an It Cosmetics brush, they're my favorite but they're so expensive so I don't have very many of them but I'm gonna put again we're going up so think up um, and small light strokes okay for the highlight I'm gonna use the Mary Lou Man Le Mary Luminizer also another staple that I use on a lot of my brides, I'm gonna put it right. The apples on my cheek, kind of do like a C shape. It's very natural, not very glittery. It's just ever so subtle. 
and then we'll put a little bit like right on our the arch of our brows i'm gonna grab an angle brush and the anastasia beverly hills powder i'm using the shade dark brown and then i'm going to fill out my brows i've been trying to style them after lily collins um she has the best brows i've ever seen um but i just do little strokes um because we want to create hair like um motion whatever hair like hair like what that's our brow situation and then we're gonna go back to eyes and finish them out so i'm going back to my beauty counter palette and i have like a compact little shader brush and i'm going to grab those shimmery shades again and i'm going to tap off the excess make sure you tap off the excess because our concealer is already set and we don't really want to mess it up so i'm going to look up and shade under my eye And then for our highlight shade, I'm actually gonna go back to the Man Mary Lou Manizer and get just my pinky and um, get the inner corner of our eyes ever so slightly to kind of highlight them. So next we should probably work on some eyeliner. I don't love eyeliner, I have to be honest with you. So typically I use eyeshadows for eyeliner. I have this matte black one from Urban Decay. So I'm just gonna softly do like the outer two thirds of my eye. Let's go ahead and do lips. I'm going to use the MAC um, lip liner in Whirl. It's a great color. It's a great color that's like darker, but not too much, you know? So if you're not comfortable uh, wearing darker colors, like this would be a really good one to try. And then this is a really beautiful color. It's matte cream in your coffee. I love the consistency, love it. It's like creamy, but not glossy. Okay, so my camera shut off after 30 minutes of filming, which I didn't realize it did that. But anyways, I think all I missed was mascara. Um, so I used the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. You could do lashes if you want. I decided not to because I just don't really have any on hand that I feel like would go well with this look and not make it too dramatic. But anyways, this is the finished look. I love it. I think it's perfect for the holidays. It is glam yet not too glam. It's very much a happy medium. Um, I love the lipstick choice and I love how the eyeshadow turn out. Um, I just think it all looks so pretty and so um, holiday and I love it with a black shirt. Killing it. Okay, so I guess I'll do like a close-up. I don't know how to do these. <laughs> 